fit. Okay, what is with the wrecked cars and the old cars, dude? Well, is this like a Washington thing or what? No, see, what I think used to happen was these used to be bootlegger cars. <laughs> and oh, they would get up here to get away from, you know, the revenuers. And I think they would dump the cars. <sighs> hey, let's not touch barbed wire. Yeah. Yeah, maniac. That was somebody's crash up derby cars. Yes, I see it painted on the doors. Right. And they just must have dumped them here or something. Did, you know? Yeah, we are in a big area though, if you think about it. Yeah. I mean, but that could have been that could have been 30 years ago. Yeah. That's older than 30 years ago. That's pretty old. Dude, look at that. Look, look at the, at the trunk. Top, look, look at the trunk. Top. Look at the snow tires, dude. Oh, that's the deal there, man. I think we need to ask Dr. Tom if he can salvage this. Dr. Tom, I'm going to tell you this right now. Dr. Tom could absolutely get that stuff to disappear. In the scrapyard and get paid for it. I'm just saying. You know you're supposed to have a title with a VIN and all that, right? To scrap that. Pretty sweet, though. Those are some boulders, little boulders. There's a little baby boulders. I got a bunch of those all over my property. Little babies like this too. It's not cheap. These are, did you know what this cost? You know which one of those cost? 200 bucks. Three, 400 bucks. Yeah, yep. two, three, 400 bucks for those. No. Real thing. There you go. There you go. Look, look, get, get your buddy's flatbed. Get up here. Grab yourself some boulders. There you go. There you go. That's 